I watched your rod tip go on. That one ate hard. <laughs> Need a medic? Yes. Yeah. Keep them buttoned. There we go. That's the biggest one of the day. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Guys, we've got an exciting video for you today. A little bit different. We have been ice fishing for quite some time. This year has been probably the craziest year I've ever experienced as far as ice conditions go. We got on some nice fish this year, but things are changing. We are out here on the Fox River in De Pere, Wisconsin, and today we are busting out the long rods in the boat. We are gonna be doing the first open water send of the year, Cody. How we feeling? Oh, dude, I'm pumped. Guys, this is going to be a fun one. I'm going to get into it a little bit more once we get the boat in the water. We're getting things loaded up right now. Tell you a little bit about what we got going on. Guys, we are super excited. So let's jump right into today's video. here we did it we are in the boat got to be careful out here just because there are still sheets of ice that are coming down the river so I'm just gonna kind of help Cody spot as he's watching the graphs we're gonna be moving around looking for pods of fish we may start up by the dam um, see how far up we can get we're gonna look at a couple different spots the goal is to find fish and then find some active fish so we're gonna be trying out a couple different techniques out here today did you end up getting live bait no live bait. No okay. live bait. We are going completely artificial today. Ooh, interesting. No live bait. So yeah, we're going to get this thing started. We're going to be uh, just kind of be cruising around looking for pods of fish, trying to find some ones that are going to go this morning. So probably not going to be out here super long today. Uh, we got kind of cloudy conditions. It's very gray. It's very cold. But we're dumb enough to be out here. It's February 5th. So let's do this thing. We're gonna be taking the first cast. This is what I'm gonna be using. Bait of choice, little frostbite tantrum. Something bright, this river is a little bit dirty. Not too bad right now, just because we don't have the gates wide open, not a lot of runoff, so. But this is what I'm gonna be starting with here. Might be using a couple different baits throughout the day. Might throw some plastics. We're gonna mess around with a couple different things, but we'll see if we can get a little reaction bite out of these fish. It's early, I'm not expecting much. Not expecting a giant, and I'm not expecting a lot of fish, but you just never know on this river. For our setup out here today, I am running a six foot nine inch medium fast action Cade Outdoors rod, and I've got that partnered up with my PC Fun Carbon X 2000 reel. These reels have been dynamite for us, open water and ice fishing. If you guys are looking to pick up some new reels, some new gear, you can head over to their website. You can use code NBEdits18. It'll save you 18% off at your checkout. Save you a little money. Pick up some new gear. Spring run is starting. So, first cast, no fish. Oh boy, I got her all tangled up here. I'm gonna get this back down there. See what happens. What are you seeing up there, Cody? Are you marking fish? Yeah. Lots of them? Lots of them. Ooh. I have a feeling it's gonna be a slow rolling plastic kind of morning. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you gotta have friends. Oh, there he is. First one of the day. Not a bad one. You wanna grab my little net, Brad? I could probably do that. Buddy. Woo. Hey, let's go man let's go <laughs> first one of the year baby well cody just popped the first one of the year we decided to cave and uh go grab minnows let's go first one baby let's go Open water season little vertical jigging action baby let's go. like i was saying cody just cracked the first one of the day we switched over to a little bit different bite here we are basically just going right through the channel here fishing in some deep water. The reason we're doing that is because the water in the middle of the channel where it's deep is going to be a little bit warmer rather than up shallow. 
that's what we tried first throwing some blades switched to a plastic for a little bit tried a couple different things but we decided to cave we went and got minnows and we are just sticking to good old reliable jigging a minnow vertical jigging right over the side of the boat we are marking them on live scope not a lot of them but marked a few cody was able to pop one we're gonna see if i can pop one myself here pretty soon switching over to something just a tiny bit smaller these fish are fairly lethargic so i got a little meathead jig from frostbite a little tungsten jig yeah let's drop this little guy down there and see what happens what color you got on there pink lemonade we could take your vehicle and just leave it there there we go yep that one came up Woo! first walleye flipper. of the year little boat flipper look at that on the meathead jig we just switched to that meathead tungsten jig he likes that pink lemonade color there she be nothing too crazy just a little guy but first one of the year i'm gonna go ahead and pop them back in there but hey that is exciting we'll get them back Woo, see you later buddy that was fun <laughs> thanks buddy appreciate it yeah nothing too crazy guys like i said we're basically just going right down the center of the channel here deep water vertical jigging right over the side of the boat we're seeing some fish not a lot of them but every uh i don't know every couple hundred feet or so we mark two three fish and that one decided to come up and pound it so we like that we're gonna get uh, another minnow on get back down there go digging in the old eskimo bucket here oh look at that there's two already in the scoop for me one fell out you're the guy you're the next victim buddy got that aerator just a ripping we're gonna get some walleyes just ripping here. We got two in the boat so far. On the old meathead, I like it. On the old meathead, this is a ice fishing jig, but turns out you can use frostbite products in the boat too. As you guys know, I took a new position and I am working for frostbite full time now. So very familiar with all the different lures, rods, everything else that they offer. And I decided, you know what? We're practically ice fishing, right? We're open water in the boat, but we're vertical jigging, cruising real slow. It's kind of like ice fishing with like a seven and a half foot rod <laughs> and no hole. You can go anywhere. Oh, Cody just missed one. <laughs> Maybe we're coming up on a nice little pod here. We're going to get her back down there and see what happens. Why'd you miss that one? Well, I felt them grab it. Like <laughs> I was letting it down, and I felt them grab it, and then I went to set the hook, and it was just a—it was a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Like, anyone ever told you you look like the start? Oh, quarterback <laughs> of the 49ers. <laughs> there we go. Got another one on the old meathead jig. Hey, another very nice boat flipper. Another little boat flipper. Oh, lost my minnow. My lucky minnow. Thanks, buddy. Chill, chill. Look at that. Another one. Cody missed one on accident. We were kind of talking and messing around, but another decent little walleye. I want a bigger one. You caught a little decent one. Mine are all 14, 15 inches here. See ya. Oh, you need a minnow as well? I'll grab you one. Here you are. Oh, Thanks, don't lose them. We got a little mixed bag here going on. We've got some fat heads and some emerald shiners that we're using for live bait here today. I think this one's a fat head. Apparently, Cody says the emerald shiners are a little bit more stinky. I think the last two that I've caught were both on the shiners. We're going to try a fat head now and see if it makes any difference. I'm going to guess it doesn't, but you never know. Look at that. Very simple presentation there. Bright colors to that meathead jig. Again, these are tungsten, so they get down to bottom real nice and quick. Give her a little bounce. They see that live bait. They're loving it. Oh, boy. All right, no more messing around. I'm catching one that's over 20. <laughs> None of these dinks. There you go. Oh, my. <laughs> what happened there? I dropped it right into him. I must have dropped that thing right down on his head. Lost my minnow. I just put that thing on. Well, can confirm. Fathead and shiners both work. All right, let's try this again. I must have dropped that thing literally right on his head. Yeah. 
I went to close the bale, I lifted up and all of a sudden there was weight. Oh, miss him again? Yep. Yeah. I just gotta set the dang hook, I think is what I gotta do. Did you actually miss one? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> just the head left. Oh no, I suck at fishing. Get another one. All right, now let's catch a darn fish. You have to quit losing them. Yeah, I lost like three in a row now. What am I doing? Give me a shit middle here. Well, the first two I caught were on shiners, and then the fat head I put it down and it got broke off immediately. So then I put another one down and it ate it in half. So I think they both work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ooh. There we go. This feels a little nicer. But... Yeah, that kind of looked like the right one. There we go. Nice. One, well, Cody just horsed into another one. Not a giant, but another fish nonetheless. We got about 34, almost 35 degree water temps out here today. Not very warm. So that's why we're going with a very subtle presentation nothing too crazy we tried some other stuff this morning and well the fish weren't exactly super happy so if the sun would poke out i feel like we could start doing some stuff but for right now we're just using minnows and it's it's working we got a couple in the boat already come on the walleye Ooh. Ooh. oh and i Missed popped them right them. off See, you just gotta talk smack to him a little bit. Come on, the walleye. <laughs> what am I doing? I think I've missed like three in a row now. A week ago. Ooh. Yep. Ooh, dude, it's nice. Oh yeah, that is a nice one. I'll grab a net. Get him, Brandon. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. That's what we like to see. There we go, baby. <laughs> it's a nice one. Let me set this down for you. Ah. Why am I not catching the toads, Cody? What the heck? That's a nice little fish. <laughs> I just got done smack talking, dude. That's why. Oh my. Wow. Just turned the gold off. I just turned it back on. That one came up an eight. Another little one, Cody. What is going on? Why can't I be as cool as Cody Solberg? Another decent little walleye. Get him back down there. I am really liking this setup here. This little meathead jig with some live bait on there. Ooh, I watched your rod just go on. That one ate hard. <laughs> that was like ice fishing right there. <laughs> Need a net? Yes. Yeah. Keep them pinned. Keep them buttoned. That's a nice one. There we go. We did it, boys. We caught a nice one. That's the biggest one of the day. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Finally. That one came up and freaking nailed that thing. That was the best bite so far. Best fish, too. Nice fish, buddy. All righty, guys. Take a look at that. Again, not a mega giant, but solid fish. Nice and fat. You can see you got that little tungsten jig there. That one definitely clobbered it. He hit it harder than any other fish we had so far this morning. See if I can poke that out of there. Nice fish. We're gonna we're gonna let him have that minnow actually. Beauty fish. We'll get a quick picture with it. It's my first nice fish of the year in the boat. This feels awesome. Again, it's February 5th, and we are out here on the fox. This is crazy. So get a quick picture and we'll get him back. Alrighty guys. One last look at him. Beauty of a fish. Just grab a quick picture. Let's get him back. That's awesome. Full of energy. That is what we like to see. Let's freaking go, dude. I'm so excited. Give me some, Cody. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Ah, man. Like I said, super, super early. This is the earliest I've ever been out here. Uh, Cody gave me a call yesterday. He's like, hey, man, fox is open. Let's go fish the fox. I was like, you know what? I still got ice fishing in my bones, but I think we got to get out here, bust out the long rods. We did it. We got some nice fish. Mr. Cody Solberg does not lie. He said he's going to get me on a decent fish, and it happened. If you guys want to book a trip with good old Cody Solberg, we'll have all that information listed down below. But Cody is a guide out here. We've been best friends for, what has it been now, man? It's been like seven years or so now, probably. Yeah, it's got to be getting close. It always seems like Cody and I 
whenever we the, the first trip that you do usually it's always you and i for whatever reason every right? time every time so well, like i said guys if you want to book a trip with cody come out on the fox do something out on the bay you know go check salmon during the summer months cody does a little bit of everything and he's got his own guide service he's been doing an awesome job with it we're proud of you man we're freaking thanks. proud of you dude thanks for coming fishing <laughs> absolutely and the last one that we just caught actually had some eggs coming out of her big old female and they get a lot bigger here in this river i'll tell you what i'm excited man it's this is early 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 we just kind of wanted to come out get the itch out but we're catching some decent fish and i don't know a couple more weeks here things start warming up these fish come up here to spawn it's gonna get crazy well as you guys can see we were able to get the boat back on the trailer we just got off the river here and uh had a little fun there was definitely some ice that blew in you know some of this stuff still breaking apart what little bit of ice that's left uh, actually blew in right where the one lane that we can get the boat in and out from and uh yeah, it made it a little bit interesting. We had to bust out the chisel and start busting ice apart and push it away. But again, boat is back on the trailer. We are here. This is going to be the end of today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. This is just the first of many. Still might be having some ice fishing content here on the channel within the next couple weeks, but it's been a very, very mild year. The ice fishing season is uh, coming to an end pretty soon. We, uh, we might have a couple more trips booked here still that we're going to do, but uh, yeah, we're out here super, super early. Again, this is the earliest I've ever been on the Fox River, February 5th. This is crazy. Cody, what did you think of today? I thought it went well. We caught some fish, you know. I got I think that's about what we expected. You know, the water's still cold. It's going to take a little bit for these fish to really fire up, but in a few weeks here, we're going to be having a lot of fun. It was fun to get out early. Like I said earlier, guys, somehow it always shapes out that Cody's first trip on the Fox every year. I don't know why, but it always ends up being with me, I feel like. So we had a lot of fun out here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Very, very slow day. Um, we ended up getting probably I don't know 10 15 fish between the two of us so if you guys want to see any of the fish that cody caught you can head over to his channel uh cody s he does have a guide service as well like i was talking about earlier if you guys want to book a trip with him you guys are more than welcome to we're gonna have all of his information listed down below but i'll tell you what this guy's a stick he's got some trips that he's already got booked but there's still room if you guys want to get out on the fox out on the bay maybe do some salmon stuff this summer all sorts of cool opportunities so overall it was a fun day we had to get a get away from the ice sheets and everything but we were able to get some fish in the boat caught a couple decent ones and we had a lot of fun i'm excited for the spring guys this is going to be a crazy crazy year uh, hopefully Nick and I are going to get down here a bunch. We definitely want to get some big fish in the boat this year. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap this video with a big old thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure to hit subscribe. Again, we're going to be out here all spring. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're probably going to be down here with Cody quite a bit. So other than that, nice job, brother man. Yeah. Thanks for thanks getting for, me out. Thanks for coming. Yeah. It's a good time. I appreciate you giving me the call, bud. This was fun. Always. <laughs> all right, guys. We are going to get everything all wrapped up here, but thank you again for tuning in. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. Tight lines from NB Edits.